With the introduction of new Pokemon games, we are blessed with a handful of new Pokemon that we're able to train, trade and battle with, and of course, the competitive scene gets even better thanks to these new Pokemon. However, with every new region, some Pokemon definitely stand out more than the rest, and that's because of their insane move pools, stat totals and just how good they are in the competitive scene. With that being said, today's video goes over the question of who is the best Pokemon of each region. Of course, this is all my own opinion at the end of the day, and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with what I say in the video. Don't hesitate though to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and I'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to hear updates about the channel. Both of those links can be found in the description down below. Now without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope that you guys enjoy. Starting things off, we of course head over to the Kanto region, home to some very strong Pokemon. And a lot of Pokemon in this region did get blessed with Mega Evolution when they did appear in Generation 6. And of course, one of those is Mega Alakazam. Now, Mega Alakazam, straight off the bat, gets a really nice ability in Trace. It allows you to trace the opposing Pokemon's ability. So you could trace something like Levitate to make you immune to ground type attacks. But you can also trace something like Wonder God as well. And I mean, Wonder God, Mega Alakazam would be just, ha! Huh, you just don't even speak about those nightmares, people. It's just horrible. But that is not the main thing that makes this Pokemon such a huge threat in the competitive scene. The main thing is its insane stats. Now, a stat total of 600, only 55 HP, 50 physical attack. Doesn't matter about the physical attack, of course, when you see the special attack of this Pokemon. And 65 physical defense. So, that's just mediocre, you know, at stats. I mean, it's a little bit frail on those physical side of things with only 55 HP as well. But that's not the thing we're talking about, guys. The thing that makes Mega Alakazam so fearsome is its special attack total of 175 and 150 speed with 105 special defense. This thing is going to be taking souls to the Shadow Realm. If you get this thing behind a sub, if you somehow do it, then hey, it's going to be at least killing two Pokemon. You just know it. It's unheard of for that not to happen. Of course, only being a psychic type Pokemon as will means that it's only weak to bug, ghost and dark. However, it does only resist fighting and psychic. But that doesn't really ma like matter because you know what I mean? The physical defense, you don't want to be taking hits with this thing at all. You know, Sucker Punch definitely destroys this thing. But with a speed stat total of 150 and 175 special attack, this thing just comes in, hits something really hard and then gets out of there. I mean, it's going to be killing something because this Pokemon's move pool is also just ridiculous. Its moves from level up isn't great. You know, it gets like psychic and recover recover is not going to be super helpful because like i say this thing's only going to be hitting things hard it's not going to be staying in for a very long time can get up with a calm mind if you get a calm mind up with this thing it's just ggs in the chat but the pokemon's move pool is incredible it gets psychic shadow ball gets focus blast energy ball thunder wave to, to cripple pokemon gets charge beam and it also gets dazzling gleam as well for those pesky dragon types also gets a bunch of egg moves as well mostly uh, physical side of things such as fire punch knock off everything like that so that's a bit annoying but this pokemon does so much damage it's just disgusting really and you know like i said no no legendary pokemon will be on this list this is only for non-legendary pokemon which is why we're not going to have like mewtwo in the best generation one pokemon because mewtwo is absolutely disgusting with its two mega evolutions this is only for those non-legendary pokemon and so that is why i believe mega alakazam to be the best pokemon in generation one Coming up next, we head over to the Johto region, and the best Pokemon in this generation for me is Tyranitar. Now, Tyranitar is amazing because it can obviously set up the Sand straight away, which is super nice to boost that special defense stat, but it also has a Mega Evolution as well. However, both of them are insane. Like, of course, the Mega Tyranitar does have the better stats in, you know, overall, but you, like, normal Tyranitar still does so much damage anyway. So, normal Tyranitar has a stat total of 600, seeing as it is a pseudo legendary Pokemon, rocking a HP stat of 100, 134 physical attack, 110 physical defense, 95 special attack, 100 special defense, and 61 speed. But of course, when the stand does go up, the special defense does get increased. Whereas Mega Tyranitar rocks up to 100 HP, 164 physical attack, 150. Uh, physical defense 95 special attack 120 physical defense and 71 speed so this thing is an absolute powerhouse and of course a huge tank as well and it definitely takes some really nice hits it's only um you know resistant to normal flying poison ghost and fire and dark however being 
part rock and dark it does have quite a few weaknesses being fighting ground bug steel water grass and theory but like i say the defenses really do help it out this thing can be run in so many different ways it gets access to thunder ice and fire fang gets dark pulse crunch earthquake stone edge rock slide gets a load of tm moves such as thunderbolt thunder fire blast flamethrower you know rain dance it gets sunny day it can set up so many different things gets shadow claw rock slide and it gets a bunch of egg moves as well it even gets pursuit which can be really really nice you know catching those pokemon off guard a lot of people do like setting up a stealth rocks with this thing but this thing also gets access to dragon dance and a mega t-tar with dragon dance is just disgusting and it does so much damage i know it doesn't have the best speed stat but that physical attack thing i mean it has curse as well through an egg move so either way whatever you want to go with it's just both are just great so that is why i believe tyranitar to be the best generation 2 pokemon Hoenn is up next and I thought that the best Pokemon in this region had to be Mega Blaziken. Now this was a toy cost between Mega Blaziken and Mega Metagross but Mega Blaziken just takes the lead because of its incredibly good ability in speed boost and not only that Mega Blaziken has an incredibly high physical attack stat total of 160 with 100 speed anyway even though the speed don't matter because he's going to be speed boosted every single turn he already has 130 special attack as well so if you want to run that mixed attack in Pokemon Hey, be my guest, because Mega Blaziken, he's got that in his locker. Not only that, he gets an incredibly good move pool. He gets Brick Break, he gets Fire Punch, Blaze Kick, uh, High Jump Kick, uh, Flare Blitz, Sky Uppercut, he gets Aerial Ace, Low Sweep, Shadow Claw, Poison Jab, Rock Slide, Swords Dance, Stone Edge. You get a Swords Dance on this thing, it's just, it's just, it's just, I can't even. It's just, it's what nightmares are made of. Also has Baton Pass as well, if you do want to pass that Speed Boost onto something else. He's just got the whole shebang, even got Night Slash if you want to be taking out those Psychic types to help with that Psychic, you know, weakness that this Pokemon does have. But needless to say, Mega Blaziken is an incredibly good Pokemon, and so he is the best in Generation 3 in my opinion. Next up on the list is of course Sinnoh and the best Pokemon in the Sinnoh region for me has to be Mega Lucario. Mega Lucario is an absolute monster. Rocking in with a stat total of 625, has 70 HP, 145 physical attack, 88 physical defense, 140 special attack, 70 special defense and 112 speed. So a very mixed attacker here. You can run a physical or a special Lucario, has 112 speed to help out with that. Really, really nice. Defenses aren't the best thing ever, but hey, when you Got that fast attacking moves then you're just done for a good time you know what i mean being steel and fighting as well it is only weak to fighting ground and fire immune to poison and is also because of that beautiful steel typing this thing resists normal rock bug steel grass ice dragon and of course dark as well the moves that this pokemon get guys the move that this thing gets you want priority you got priority in extreme speed also has dragon pulse close combat calm mind bone rush power punch aura sphere he's got some really good egg moves as well getting blaze kick bullet punch cross chop crunch high jump kick low kick vacuum wave for some more priority he's got so much priority it's just ridiculous you just got so much choice. you're spoiled for choice using mega lucario no wonder this thing is so disgusting to come up against he's an absolute monster and as well as mega lucario just looking absolutely insane as well hey i'm a big fan of it and no wonder he's amazing so that is why i believe mega lucario is the best pokemon in generation 4 Coming up next, we of course head over to Unova. Now, the best Pokemon I believe in Generation 5 is Conkeldur. Now, Generation 5 doesn't really spawn that many good Pokemon. Of course, there's some pretty good ones, don't get me wrong. Every generation has some really good Pokemon, but Generation 5 definitely pretty light luster on the good Pokemon spot. You know, the only Mega Evolution is Ordino, so as I'm making this video, hey, Generation 5 don't have the best Mega Evolutions to help them out, but Conkeldur definitely a very good Pokemon. Has the ability Guts, Sheer Force, and Iron Fist, so all really good abilities. So I'm all about that already, straight off the bat, but this Pokemon, not the fastest thing to ever, you know, come uh, generation 5 with only 45 speed but this thing has an incredible attack stat of 140 a hp stat of 105 95 physical defense 65 special defense 55 special attack and previously mentioned 45 speed so not the best special attack in pokemon but you're going to be using that powerful physical attack with this guts boost as well this thing hits very very hard also gets an incredible move pool as well getting access to superpower gets um mag punch drain punch for that recovery gets force palm reversal gets comet punch as well gets counter which could also be used very very well i just really like this pokemon and there isn't loads of really good fighting type pokemon out there i know i've just got over mega lucario but i mean those pure fighting types and conkelda definitely saves the day being that really good pure fighting type pokemon and i do believe he is the best pokemon in generation 5 obviously not going into legendary 
Next up, we of course head over to the Kalos region, and the best Pokemon in this region for me has to be Greninja, and that was before Ash's Greninja made the scene. Now, Greninja, the normal form, absolutely monstrous, and that's because of its ability in Protein, allowing every single move this Pokemon uses to become instantly stabbed. And not only that, this Pokemon has an incredibly good speed stat total of 122, also rocking a physical attack stat of 95 and 103 special attack. Defenses aren't amazing, coming in at 72 HP, 67 physical defense and 71 special defense, but the main role of Greninja is to come in, do a lot of damage, and then get the hell out of there. Not only that, it does have its Ash Greninja form, which has a stat total of 600 140 being 72 HP, 145 physical attack, 67 sp uh, physical defense, 153 special attack, and 71 special defense, and 132 speed. Even though this thing didn't have to get any better, Nintendo were like, hey, make that Pokemon stronger. Of course, I mean, the type effectiveness don't even matter really with the protein ability, because you're obviously always changing your type, but the move pool this thing gets is absolutely incredible. Get Shadow Sneak, Extra Sensory, Hydro Pump, Night Slash, Water Shuriken, gets Ice Beam, gets Rock Tomb, gets Brutal Swing, Scold, gets Surf, U-Turn, the moves that it gets through um, just breeding, it gets Toxic Spikes so it becomes Poison type, gets Spikes as well, it just gets so many moves, especially in Auras as well from the battle, you know, the, that place where you can get all the TMs, that is a really good godsend for Greninja because he's getting so many moves there, but this Pokemon is absolute monster in the competitive scene and he's just so scary to go up against, and that is why he is the best Pokemon one in generation 6. Finishing things off though, we of course head over to the Alola region, the newest region we have been blessed with in Pokemon, and the best Pokemon in this region has to be Toxapex, just because it is so good in the competitive scene. Straight off the bat, it has the ability Merciless, and if you're unfamiliar with this ability, it is unique to the Toxapex line, and whenever this Pokemon attacks something that is poisoned, it always results in a critical hit. Now once you see how many ways this Pokemon can poison something, you're gonna be getting scared. So straight away we have Baneful Bunker, which basically acts as Protect, However, if a Pokemon makes contact with Toxpex after using Baneful Bunker, it is immediately poisoned. So, hey, there's the poison that you need for those critical hits. Another way is, of course, Toxic Spikes. You can set those up, start poisoning everything coming in. And it also has Toxic as well, even though everything gets Toxic, but you know what I mean. As well as that, it also can learn the TM Venoshock. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Venoshock, it is a damaging dealing poison type move, which uh, basically doubles its power to 130 if the target is poisoned. So, Venoshock getting its damage double to 130, as well as a critical hit, this thing is going to be doing a lot of damage. I know it only has a stat total of 53 and 63 in its special attack and physical attack, but I mean, that kind of goes out the window when you see all this damage this thing does. As well as this, its ridiculous defenses are just... I don't even want to talk about it. 152 physical events and 142 special defense. Toxapex is an absolute machine in the competitive scene, and it's just disgusting to go up against. It also has Poison Jab, Sludge Wave, Sludge Bomb, so many moves. It has Haze as well, if you want to be like stopping everything from getting stats. It's just such a good Pokemon, really, and that is why I believe it is the best Pokemon in Generation 7. But with that, it does wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you did enjoy the video, though, please do leave a like. I would really appreciate it. Like I said at the start of the video, I would also love to hear your guys' opinions too on this subject, so be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I do have a couple top fives coming onto your screen in a second, so be sure to give them a watch if you do have the time, and also subscribe if you do like my content. That is everything from me, though, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all in the next video.